right. Um, can I put my name down for a table of three? To understand the ending of any story. Um, do we just like wait here and you um, call our name? Or? You have yes. to go to okay. the beginning. Okay. Thank you. And when it comes to West Sacks Club Pheasant. A dozen yeah. pieces of garlic bread? Yeah. Of course, I'll get that going right now. Everyone has a story to tell. Our father brought us here as children back as early as I was probably five years old. I've been coming here since 60. Four or five. But now the popular landmark. Did you have some of the raviolis? Oh, they're good. Finds itself on the last page. Mm, no, they're good. Of the final chapter. Cheers. It's time. The Pheasant Club, as locals call it, opened in 1935, starting with George and Louisa Palmadesi. My grandfather was a, f a farmer, and he somehow he found out about, about this place. George and Louisa turned the former speakeasy into a place locals couldn't help but talk about. It's hard to find a place like this anymore. It couldn't have been done without family. There's been like 40 or 50 family members that have worked here. I mean, that's, that, that, that's incredible. But after today, the menu favorites. The fried raviolis. It's always been the steak sandwiches. That's what they're famous for, I really think. Will no longer be available. Tom, part of you too. Handed down from generation to generation. George and Louise's grandson Pete is retiring. I'm getting older. Physically, I, I'm, I'm, I'm done. You know, I, but emotionally, I just, yeah, I'd, I'd like to keep, keep going. It's sad, very sad. For the last several weeks, the community's lined up to get one more club pheasant meal. There's so many people that are sad because this is closing. They've come in from all over. There's more people coming now than ever came, but it's pretty nice. Very warm, you know, welcoming, I'd call it. Greg and Sue Gardner flew in yesterday from Oregon to have dinner last night. Waited a couple hours to get a table, but it was worth it. And one last lunch before flying right back. And it's just as good as it was 60 years ago. George and Louisa never had the chance to know what their place meant to the community. Yeah, it's gonna be really missed. Good thing their grandson does. It's our le legacy. I mean, it's, we just, I mean, we're, we're very proud uh, of it. And it's, it's going to be hard. And to the Pheasant Club. In West Sac. Oh, to the Pheasant Club. Jason Marks, KCRA 3 News. So as you heard from Jason, Club Pheasant is serving its last meals today. But the restaurant will stay open the next two days for people who want to just stop in and say their goodbyes. It's going to be tough for some of those folks yeah. to say goodbye.